So what happens with a multicast? On router one, I'm gonna ping to multicast address 239 1.1.1. No one is replying to the multicast. Let's have a look at the captures. So this is router three. So on router three, we're receiving a multicast from router one to this destination multicast address. Notice 01005E is the vendor code for IP version for multicast. So Wireshark shows it as IPv4 MCAST and I was pinging dot one, dot one, dot one in the multicast. So this portion is used as the MAC address portion of the multicast. As an example, I could ping one, two, three. And what we should see is the multicast come through. Notice there it is, one, two, three. And notice the MAC address is the multicast MAC address for IP version four. And the host portion of the address is one, two, three. So in other words, router four would have received the multicast. Multicasts are treated as broadcasts by layer two switches. In other words, when a multicast is received on this interface, it's gonna be flooded out of this port, this port, and this port any port except the ingress port, in other words, the port on which it was received. Notice we still only have these MAC addresses in the MAC address table. We don't have this multicast address. So let's have a look at router four. You can see it received both multicasts, 239.1.1.1 and 239.1.2.3. What about router two? It also received both those multicasts using the multicast MAC address 01005E and then the remaining portion of the MAC address based on the multicast address used. So what I've demonstrated is that a unicast is received only on interfaces associated with that learnt MAC address. A multicast and broadcast are flooded out of all interfaces except the interface on which it was received. Now what about unknown unicast MAC addresses? So on the switch I will clear the MAC address table and I'm going to clear all dynamic entries. So at the moment there are no entries in the MAC address table and I'll have to be quick now so I'll ping 10.1.1.2. We've now learned the MAC addresses, so let me just confirm that by clearing the table and doing the ping again. So in this example, we haven't learned MAC address four yet, but let's see what happens with that traffic. And what you'll notice is the ping was received by router four. It was received by router three, there are the pings to router two, and it was received by router two. So why is the traffic being flooded? It's because when the traffic hits the switch, the switch doesn't know the MAC address of the destination of the frame. So notice on router one, the ping is a unicast. So router one is sending traffic to router two, it knows the MAC address of router two. So a unicast packet has been received on this interface, but because the switch doesn't know where router two is, it floods the unicast out of all ports. So remember please, that when a MAC address is unknown on the switch, it's gonna flood it. So let's try and ping router two. I'll clear the MAC address table and do the ping, and that was the wrong address, so let's try again. Clear the MAC address table, and do the ping to 10.1.1.2. So I'll clear the MAC address table, and do the ping to 10.1.1.3, and just do that a few times for good measure. So clear the MAC address table, ping 10.1.1.3. So in router four is an example. It's seeing the pings to router three. There are two examples of a ping received to router three on router four's interface. 
and this is Router 2's interface. It's also receiving the ping traffic. Notice we don't see the reply because when the ping is received by the switch, it learns the MAC address of Router 1. So when the traffic is then sent to Router 3 and the reply is sent from Router 3, the switch knows to only forward it out of this interface. So these two devices only see the initial ping from router one when the switch doesn't know where router three is. So the moral of the story is when a switch receives a unicast packet to an unknown unicast address, it's flooded. And this is where the acronym BUM comes from. BUM traffic is flooded out of all interfaces except the interface on which it's received. Broadcast, unknown unicast, and multicast traffic is flooded by a layer two switch.